Hey, what's up everybody? James Showers here. Aaron Lewis. Nomadic Inc. channel. And what we got going on today is a little review. Um, we got off early. Figured we'd park the truck over here at a nice little uh, tree area. And tell you a little bit about some tools we got going on. For drywall, of course. So today, we're talking about hammers. Uh, $30 hammer versus $130 hammer. So, um, if you've ever tried buying a $130 hammer, it's probably a stiletto. So we got the stiletto here, and this is for drywall. Um, and we're gonna tell you what we think about this thing. And uh, in a minute, what we would like to talk about first is a few of the hammers that most of you guys are probably looking at right now. These $30 hammers, they're um, in most of your Home Depots and uh, Lowe's and um, other little places. Any hardware store, really, that sells Stanley. Yeah, we also have a, a Vaughn, this is a wood wood handled hammer so um, right now I'll just go ahead and talk about the hammer I use um, right now I've been using this Stanley anti vibe it's a 14 ounce um, I like the weight to it you know like you might not want a heavy hammer I don't feel like this is that bad but I I like the way that it feels in my hand that it actually feels like a hammer and it doesn't have much recoil um, just because of the way this little rubber handle is this anti vibe handle um it works pretty good i mean the axe i mean you're not going to go and cut any logs down or nothing but this is going to work pretty good for drywall cutting out um, little pieces that are missed it's got a little notch there for um screws pulling out screws or nails or whatever or one, yeah one uh, one thing i don't like is that it's got this full head i kind of like it when they have the cut head so when you're swinging this by the ceiling you know or something close that it'll, it doesn't have that doesn't have this head sticking up plus it'll make more of a straight edge all the way across as where you know this one's got this rounded bump so i don't know i don't mind it it's about 30 bucks at uh, home depot or lowe's i think so what do you what do you got going on right now well i got the east wing it's pretty nice it's a 16 ounce hammer i kind of like it there could be some improvements like it it's, it is flat right along here so that is kind of nice but you know you could shave it off yourself right here have it more flat of a head I like the, the fact that it's at an angle because you're hitting mostly with the tip, which is good, so you can get a good, nice hit into it. So if you're trying to cut out something on a stud, you get a good swing. Other than that, it's a pretty good hammer. It does what its job is supposed to do. I think that one is the one you get at um, Home Depot, actually, to tell you the truth. Yep, this is Home Depot. We're at mainly regular power stores. And then I think... Uh, this is Sam's hammer. I think he got this probably at a drywall store like GTS or another drywall supply. What is it? Cor Lane Power Tools. So yeah, he got it at, you know, specialty place. But um, this is Cor Lane Power Tools. <laughs> you know, it's it's a local store. It's just cool to support your old local whatever. But, you know, it's a wood handle. Wood, <laughs> wood handled hammer. Wood hammer. Wood handled hammer. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll do, edit all this stuff. This is a wood handled hammer. And it's probably about 39 bucks at that Coraline Power Tools. So um, I don't like the recoil in um, the wood. And also my experience with wood handles is they always break. So you're going to eventually be wrenching on something and this thing's going to eventually break. You're eventually going to be swinging on something and this thing's going to eventually break. It looks like he's already got somewhat of a bend. He's been prying on something there. And he's already got a bend in the deal. When um, it breaks, it's going to hit something. It does have the flat head. Though I do like that, he's got the flat head and it goes all the way straight across as a uh, nice, good straight edge, you know, so you can use it to tap shit, tap stuff in and whatnot. But uh, yeah, overall, I like the metal ha handled hammers myself. Now we're gonna talk about the $800, $130 hammer. Yeah, the $130 stiletto. <laughs> so, um, what do they say this is? A nine ounce hammer or something, right? No, 12. I think it's I think it's a nine, nine ounce, ten. but it swings like a sixteen, is what they say. But this thing is really, really light, like really light. It almost feels like a toy. Like that's how I feel when I when I was using this. Um, like you can swing it a little too hard. But it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't satisfy my hammer swing. Like when I swing it, it, it I mean it works, but it just I don't know. It makes a. It doesn't make the indention that I want it to make in the drywall for one. And then two, it doesn't feel right that it's so light when I'm trying to put it in. It, it's 
I don't know, it's hard to get it back into my hammer holder and pull it out. It just doesn't have the weight that I want. Even though you're probably getting this to lighten your load, you know, you're taking a couple ounces off your deal, which, I mean, you'd probably notice. A couple of cool features, you know, are maybe this um, magnetic head and the nail set. But um, if, you're, if you're doing drywall, you're probably uh, not doing nails anymore. And I wouldn't ever use this to set a screw and then whatever. So, I mean, I don't see the total purpose of that. Maybe there's some areas that you guys are still doing um, nails. Comment below if you are. Um, some other cool features on this is that right here, this is a rasp. So you can rasp, um, you know, the end of a sheet or something if you need to. I wouldn't probably use it as my permanent rasp. But, um, you know, for a pinch, it probably worked pretty good. And I like how thick this axe blade is let me see that stanley this guy right here so i mean you can see that this one i mean it's a little bit wider and so i feel like this works a little bit better as as a kicker you know you can wedge it under the sheet better and pries up pretty good it's got a really good taper on the axe and it's just got a cool design you know what i mean so that's basically what you, i feel like you're getting um if you notice it looks like it's really choked up on the head, you know what I mean? And I've seen that in comments below. It just looks like this hammer is just really choked up on the head is where this one's kind of got, I don't know, it feels like it's gonna, I don't know. It just feels just a little off. They're about the same size. This one just feels light to me, but it's got a couple cool little things. Anything you wanna add? Yeah, here's my review on it. It is pretty lightweight. It's nice, but it could have something more improved like a bump right here to stop it from swinging out of your hand. It would be really good for drywall back in the day when maybe you are using nails. And it's got this little notch area right here for holding up the sheet. I've seen him do that a lot. You do use your hammer a lot. So back in the day when you weren't using screw guns, this would have been the best hammer you could have had. Yeah, if you're hanging by yourself and you're doing... Um, your own work. Your own work or whatever, then you know maybe you want to set a nail... Uh, you know, maybe you're using nails still, so that's cool. And what is also weird, I, this is probably how they get less of their weight, is how they have this taken out. And But it's also nicer that this right here is a little bit deeper, so you can get more of a screw, because I noticed with these yeah. ones, it's it so sucks. Small. It's really, really hard to get. Yeah, it almost has... I almost don't use it at all. It almost I has like that. a prying technique, because you can... I don't know if you can see see how it's kind of indented. You can really scoop in there and pry it out. So that's kind of cool. Um, is it worth one hundred and thirty dollars? No. That's hard to say. I mean, I've if you look on Amazon, um, I believe you can find these for a hundred dollars shipped to you if you've got Prime. You know, um, it's not forged directly for you. Like if you bought it off Stiletto, I think they forge it for you and then send it to you. So that's kind of cool. If you're into having like high end custom stuff, you know, go for it just so you can say you've got a stiletto hammer but in reality I just really I don't know these I'd rather have this hammers. I'd rather have one of these guys like this one feels a little light for me I don't know why I like the heavier hammer but I do um, I really just feel like it's up to you if you feel like you want the stiletto and it's uh, it's got a cool look to it and everything and you want to be able to say hey I got a stiletto then go for it get that stiletto if you're would want to you want to save a hundred dollars then just get a regular hammer get your I friend mean, back i've laid this I've, I've had this hammer i've had this hammer for a long time and i've gotten my thirty dollars out of it like how long do you have to own that hundred thirty dollar hammer before you get a hundred and thirty dollars out of it like you know these you can just destroy them it worked three yeah, days for like I don't know. I just feel like you're spending a lot of money on a hammer. So um, comment Ooh. below if you guys have one of these stilettos, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Uh, let me know. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something I should know about well, this? I mean, would this be like your review? Are you a drywaller and think that's a ridiculous amount for a hammer? Let me know. Um, if you have one and think it's the best thing out there then let me know why so that and, and let everyone else know this read in the comments below so um i think we're gonna sign out oh i got one more thing to add just one all right well, well this this hammer is worthless <laughs> you could have the angled head on it and the bump on the end so your hammer doesn't fly out as much basically why is this one worthless exactly just because the wood it's basically these two hammers and the wood the only thing nice i like about this one is that it's got this flat head you but know. if you could just do this with an angled head, 
more of a choke like this. Combine these two hammers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. I want. That's what I want to see on the stiletto. Like this would. This would make me happy on the stiletto. To tell you the truth, is this had uh, maybe we won't make them. more of a more of an arch. You know, this head maybe was centered a little better, so this didn't feel like it was so back heavy. And then maybe if they put a weight at the bottom of this to just kind of counterbalance how light it feels on the stick end. Like light. it just, like I can't throw out of your fish hand. it into my thing, you know, like, or I'd buy this and to be like, look, I got a stiletto. I totally love it. So, um, yeah, that's our, that's our little hammer review. Tell me what you use in the comments below. See you guys on the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't know what else to say. Do a pose. Oh, do a pose. Peace.